minutes? I want to announce our guest today. I want uh, you to. It's nice to have him come in. And uh, so here's the story with this guy. I get introduced to him maybe a year and a half ago, I think, or two years ago. And I get told he's coming down to do Frantic. He's a young, up-and-coming comic. He's like kind of an influencer. Comes down, really nice guy. We hit it off. Was very funny. Uh, and also kind of realized, you know, the arc of comedy and how much there is to it. Then last week, I tweet out, uh, when this guy got arrested, the Times Square shooter, I go, this guy got arrested, great work law enforcement. Now, I understand that to anybody. When you say great work law enforcement, people think you're a racist in this day and age. So he wrote back, he goes, you're hilarious, but this smells a little racist. At that point in time, I said, no, he's an asshole that shot a four-year-old kid. I don't give a shit what he looks like. He's yeah. an asshole. Yeah. And he said, okay, still. And then I reached out and I go, come on the show. Let's shoot the shit about it. And then you sent me a video today that you disagreed with. Did you say, did you say, I don't care what he looks like or I don't care that they all look alike? Maybe he read it like that, no, which would I be kind of racist. I said it pretty non-racist. Okay, okay, because the other uh, way would have been racist. He's, he's A, very charismatic, very energetic, so let's bring him on the show. Please welcome Sneeko, everybody. Sneeko! Yo, look at this dynamic young man. How are you, buddy? Good. He now, is. I saw you, uh, your clip oh, you like the... me now? What's that? You like me now? I thought that there was a little... Oh, I, I always have a genuine energy. I thought your video was kind of bullshitty, but uh, do you... So you were at the Ice House, and you know... You know D? Is that who you got booked with, or was it... That... No, Rudy. Uh, a godfather, see. some old black guy. Mm -mm. I, I think I've met him, and of course I don't remember him, because I'm an idiot, but yeah. So, Aaron, you start. Then so my you... thought... We're... Here's what I think of you. I think... You got a good sense of humor, but you're also trying to be provocative online, as we all are. So when you say smells a little racist, I think you're, first of all, probably joking. Am I correct? Yeah. But okay. there's truth in every joke. That's what it was. Because then I went to the rest of your tweets, and I was like, oh, he's just fucking around. So he didn't really think it was racist. What race are you? I'm Blasian, and there's a little bit of Jew in there, too. All right. Shut well, the show help. off. That's that'll it. Help. Shut the fucking what? show off. I'm not Jew. doing you this. No, like I'm Jew. sorry. I'm not doing I'm it with a Blasian <laughs> that's half Jewish. <laughs> I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm not racist, but this is horrible. I will not do he didn't this. Even do Shut it off. Yet. Bring in another guest. Bring your fucking liver back right. or show some poo videos. <laughs> I'm not dealing with a Blasian Jew. All right. I got it. Ready? Here All we right. go. Uh, hey. Hey, hey. Welcome to In Hot Water and our guest, Sank. That's Nico. I need a different answer. What race are you? Uh, my dad's half Jew, half black, and my mom's Filipino. So. Jesus Christ. Oh Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to switch wallet to my other I can't one. be racist. There's no, I can't really be called out for anything. I'm allowed to make fun of everyone. What are you allowed? You get in trouble sometimes. No, so. I don't. I can't get in trouble. You get in trouble. So you, I just saw your Instagram went down. Oh, yeah. Why? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, now I'm on your side. Why'd they take down your Instagram? Harassment and bullying. Just, yeah. <laughs> a little bit, just a little bit. Oh, please tell me. Please tell me you showed a picture to someone of you without a mask, and they're like, you're killing someone. Some dude in the elevator was like that. He's like, mask? A fucking 50-year-old man. Like, uh, the president of CDC said you need to take it off. Her mask. How fun is he it? He said her mask. How fun, <laughs> how fun is it to watch the left fall all over each other now because they have to hold on to the lie they lived for the past 18 months? Like, no, you have to wear a mask. Ask if you're not vaccinated. No, we don't. You Can't wasted. That track, yeah. Yeah, and and they sh everything I tweet now. Excuse me. I use Facebook for this because I don't give a fuck about it. <clears throat> Hang on, before you go any further, he's black and Asian and Jewish. Okay, so, so what does that just mean? Approach with caution. Okay. Please. <laughs> Let me tell you something. By the way, I'm not racist. <laughs> Triple threat. <laughs> <laughs> but don't How you... old are you, Sneaks? 22. That's good age to be. So young. Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, yeah, a couple. Yeah, this guy's crushing puss on the rag. I bet he still comes hard. <laughs> Gross. Yeah. I bet he still clears. I bet he can jerk off and clear his socks. What are you just bragging about yeah. everything? It's still in the toilet. <laughs> like when you nut, it still sprays. It hits the ceiling sometimes when Dude. I jerk off. That's what I'm saying. Like the distance, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, I you can know, tell him how you come. What's that? Tell him how you come. Uh, Into a headband. My dick looks like an old man eating hummus. How's that? How's That's that for good, a description? Huh? How's that? Yeah, they, take that if you were gonna have a, a late lunch. All right. So there you go. Why would? Why because would that'll ruin your meal. Lunch. That'll ruin your fucking meal. Yeah. Boy, oh boy, that's good. What? Imagine coming like that again. What? When it sprays out. I can remember the last time I came like that. That's know what how my bad cum it is. looks like. I'm 52, kiddo. So. You know what my cum looks like? Yeah, a mess. It looks like yellow and chunky and disgusting. You said. What does it smell like? Bleach. <laughs> but he took pennies. But see, he's on like some drug. Are you still on the clomid? No, I had to stop. You ever taken the honey that you get at the deli? No. They what have this in, in Brooklyn and all the outer boroughs. You can go to the deli, just ask the Ock for, like, let me get the special honey. They'll go behind. They got this little thing. You just eat it, and then you're good to go. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah, $7. 
All right, let me say this, because the more I talk to him, the more I like him. And I, I, I told I, you I you'd like show. him. I know, I know, because he's got a great energy. This was my problem, okay? Because we have a guy that's done this show before, and he was just starting out, kid by the name of Mike Figs, great kid. And we- uh, Ask used, him if he knows him. He was probably an influencer or YouTuber type dude, right? He's you just naturally don't like us. He's usually under the influence. He's a young kid who was just okay. starting he to do voice- He said influencer. Not yeah. under the influence. Yeah, I was making a joke. He's not an influencer. Uh, boomer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, it was a real boomer, that bomb we dropped on Pearl. So we used to, like, let him do this show, and after a while, he started giving Berg shit. He was, like, ungrateful. And when you said, oh, I sent a laughing thing to Andrew Schultz because he only offered me 50 bucks, but that's one of the greatest, that's one of the most popular comedians. I'm not using words, you know, that will define his act. One of the most popular comedians. said that in the video. Yeah, but I'm saying that's one of the most popular comedians now, so if you're about the money, you would say no, but if you're about being a comedian. Yeah, that's bullshit. I hate when people say that, like, oh, it's for the exposure. You just need to, like, get yourself, fuck that. Like, I already know, like, I'm, I'm good without him. I don't need to go, like, backpack on his fame and popularity. It's not about back, bullshit. I would argue. Luby says young people's arrogance, but I'm also gonna, I'm gonna take his side on this Please. because I come from Canada where they would be like, oh, it's exposure, it's exposure. It, you heard that so much, we came up with a saying, people die from exposure. Yeah. Which means, like, because you're left out in the cold, that's what oh, exposure please. is. I, there, there is a point where you say, I'm not doing it for exposure. Like, I like I, this kid. Uh, Sneeko, uh, I would like to pay you to do my videos and I will offer you $55. Oh, uh, 55? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Wait, and he, which one of you is the Jew? So my point <laughs> is this. Us. When I first started doing stand-up, you were sperm. But when I first started, like I got to New York and I did a radio You've show. You've been doing stand-up 23 years? Yeah. Boom goes Nagasaki. <laughs> so I was doing so I was doing this show on Sirius XM called the Pharrell Show. Okay, and it was just because I'm happy. A different guy. So I would go on every week, you know, for three hours. Oh, uh, Will Night Ferrell. Football. What's that? Step Brothers. Nope. NASCAR. Tell Scott Pharrell. And I would do Shake it and bake, Gino. for the exposure. Shake and bake. You know what I mean? If you ain't I was first, new. you're Gino. But now, when you get older, they're like, oh, I'll do this for the exposure. No, I don't need the exposure. Yeah, clout should not be currency. Uh, that, that's bullshit. And that's fair. And given, like, the world we live in nowadays, I, I will give you this. How many followers do you have on Instagram? Uh, 93. Why'd you 90, get Not 93. 93,000. Yeah. You just have so many. Like, if I said 93, that would be the actual 93. number. 93. Yeah. yeah. I, I can name But 90. you and me, when we do Instagram Lives, we had last week like 85,000 people no, on. No, we had 85 people. There oh, was no see, it's K. the opposite uh, of what I, he Yeah, did. you have a little K there. Well, that's so, it. But he gets to say 93, he means 93,000. Right. Ask me how many people watched us. Watch this. Watch you sit I back. saw I saw your YouTube channel. That's why I'm, I'm not that nervous. Why are you talking to us? <laughs> <laughs> 85,000. But see, I don't use the YouTube, thank God, because I got to this, so I don't need the YouTube as much. But... Uh, yeah, so that that I will give you. Like, you get the exposure from social media, and that's the game now. So I guess my only dispute at this point would be like, look, either you want to be a comedian or you don't, and it doesn't seem you do. You want to be I an do. influencer. I do, but I mean, I want to make money too. I want to be self-sustainable. You're 22. I don't want to be sad and like alcoholic and just go into open mics all the time. That shit is lame. That shit is lame. I haven't done nothing. Hang on one Every sec. comedian Let me like who's music. trying to make it up and like, oh, I just want to do a show for free. They all suck. They're yeah. just like their person. Well, you have to get the reps in. You wouldn't argue that. Yeah, I, yeah, you do, but you just get trapped in this loop for like 30 years, and I, I just don't want to do that. I'd rather become successful on my own without doing like. Well, that's fine, mics. but th it's one thing to say that, but it's another thing to be like, I don't need Andrew Schultz. Well, then I don't. You're taking a different route of comedy. No, How are you getting? Not even as a comedian. That's what's going to be as an editor. I <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> You're a lazy eye or something. What, what was that? When I get drunk. When I get drunk, this eye. He gets drunk. Sneeko, you drink or fucks with drugs? I'm um, 16 days sober. I'm going sober this month. But yeah. Congrats. What, what but were he's you still on? an alcoholic because it doesn't matter if you. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But yeah. Uh, wait, what were we just talking about? What drugs he was doing. No, he fucking uh, just had a good dick. A lot of the Gen Z drugs, a lot of Adderall, a lot of marijuana. What made you stop? Um, just, actually, I got a fight coming up, so I wanted to prepare and get myself. Against like, Gino? Yeah. Right after this? Yeah, yeah, right yeah. after the show. <laughs> I love him. He's like, yeah, yeah. Who are you fighting? Yeah. Uh, another YouTube influencer kid that you That's care a big about. thing yeah, now. Yeah, this, kid's, this yeah. kid's been writing comedy, so he's got a big fight coming up on YouTube against another influencer. I rest my case, okay? Let me say this. God bless you. What You're great at what you do, but it's not comedy. Period. You can do both. Do, do I only have to be doing saddle? No, bikes? no, you don't. Where are you I doing? I have to be an alcoholic Where? at 54. No, you do. 52. <laughs> 
I hope, I hope someday you, you get so good at doing YouTube videos that then you buy a house for yeah. Gino. But here's what I'm saying: like, <laughs> you you can sit there and say I don't want to get the reps and stuff, right? No, I do, I do, I do. But you don't get he them by being like, like you I'm, don't get the genuine a millennial like, attitude. I will take your side on that, and I don't oh, know yeah, if it's Gen Z doubt, or but millennial. No, but but, this but we came from a different time. We but were like, I was doing open mics like three nights. Let me like, tell you something what, about what's going on now. This is great. This proves my point about everything. Like we disagree on so much and agree on so much, but I'm the only time I'm like yelling at you is like if you want to be a comedian that's awesome kid you know but I think you're I think it's hard let me say this it's harder for you now in this day and age and you even said you're like I can get away with anything because of my I don't even want to say the races with him here but because yeah Damn you're young Jewish. you're charming but you should be able to get away with anything when you're 54 I'll add two years for my friend here and, and an, alcoholic. an alcoholic because <laughs> what you're saying has substance you can back it up you should be able to make jokes about race and religion and you get that with the reps because being on stage and being edgy and not being likable and good looking and a YouTube influencer that gets to say, hey, hey you I'm know all me from my 93. Like we did a show this weekend and I was the first to say, hey, it's like we all killed. Of course we did. It was a home game because we had fucking everyone coming out to see us, which we've earned from being a drunk for 54 years. But when you just go out and you be like, hey, I got 93,000 influencer, YouTube fans, that's no, not YouTube making. YouTube is 900. Okay. What's that? <laughs> YouTube is 900. 900,000. Yeah, yeah. Don't you love it? This kid assumes like he's like 900. No. No, it's 900,000. I have 900 followers. Real quick, uh, Sneeko, how much will you pay Gino to edit your videos? Uh, 56. <laughs> <laughs> 56. Look 000. at my face. I do like you. But here's my point. It's like, I, 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 you don't want me to edit your videos. I would just Photoshop whiskey bottles in front of everything. Yeah, this is... But, but I'm saying, oh, so watch this. When I moved up here, I had no plan other than get on stage as much as I can. And I completely agree with... That has nothing... To, I'm agreeing... That has nothing to do with editing for $50 for Andrew Schultz and being his bitch. That has it nothing, doesn't. And I want to do the open mics and get on stage, but I just don't want to be a slave for this well, dude. Well, you're past open mics, aren't you? Um, well, I haven't been on stage in over a year since COVID. So you I, just got to go back and hit Yeah, I'm just being pussy right now. Yeah. And yeah, he can do both. He doesn't have to just... Look, Louis Gomez does... Louis fights. Louis does uh, video content. Louis Gomez threw, a water, threw water at my dog like last time at the Legion of Skanks thing. <laughs> what? Is that good, or, is that good water throwing or bad water throwing? Like, comedy now. Like, yeah, my dog was there. He's like, fuck dogs and threw a bottle, like, threw water at it. Like... And there's guys there with Trump hats and stuff. You know, and Trump thing out maybe there. Maybe he wants to set totally. up another YouTube fight between influencers. I'm down. I'm Where, down. Where's this fight gonna be? Uh, we haven't booked it yet. He's he's gonna pussy out of the fight. Who he is it? Uh, his name is Kelly Wakasi. He keeps talking about his knuckle being fucked up. So Kelly Wakowski. Kelly, yeah. Kelly Wakasa. Can we find it? How do we spell his name? Kelly Wakasa. Would you beat him? Oh yeah, yeah. How long have you been fighting for? Uh, a little bit, a couple years ago, and now I'm three weeks back in with the trainer at Gleason's gym and Dumbo. That's great. Yeah. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. Feeling good. like, yeah, more amped up, more Sobriety's going to help. Oh, you're going to make a mess of this kid, man. Yeah, this yeah, guy's yeah. like 12 years old. Yeah, well, he's 20. I'm 22. Yeah. So young. Yeah, I got like four matter. inches on him. Now, what style will you be approaching with? BJJ? Oh, uh, just regular boxing. The, oh, you're boxing? Yeah, boxing. No, I don't do martial arts like all the comedy nerds. I'm normal. I thought you were propositioning him with a BJJ. Look at that. That's a kid you're fighting? Yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ. He's got a nice little eight pack going, but no, nah, he looks too happy. He looks, that looks like he fucked David Hogg. He looks like they shipped him in from Somalia. Eat something for fuck's sake. Huh? The kid looks too now, skinny. Is he straight or gay or do you ask? Uh, he's a little bit of both. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to make a mess of this kid. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be fun. He, he challenged me. That's not even my idea. He offered 10000 and wiped us on his ass, so I'm going to win $10,000 beating him. Now, how many fans does he have on YouTube? He's got uh, 650. Maybe you understand, <laughs> and he needs. So that's why Some he challenges you. Some of our videos have like 5,000 views. This is the game. You're gonna Take it from your Uncle Gino, who I'm telling you right now, big fan already. Okay? Thanks. For, take it from your Uncle Gino. You need to get the reps in. You know, it's funny that the Jewish relative I have, we didn't know we were Jewish until like two years ago. My dad's looking on like the Holocaust website, and we found a guy with my last name, and his name was Gino, some guy who died in an Auschwitz. Sneakowitz. <laughs> <laughs> but you need to get the reps in, and you need to do it in front of, you know, like, like you said, open mics suck and you'll get through them, but it's just like, enjoy the journey. You're young, you got your whole life ahead of you and don't get too distracted by all these. I mean, don't change a thing. I mean, 900,000, that's great and Love. enjoy that. But realize comedy, comedy doesn't, you don't choose comedy. It hears it chooses, you from the inside. It chooses you. What do you it, mean by that? Comedy, comedy steals your soul. Ask anyone who started doing comedy. Why? Why does it have to do that? Why does it have to make you miserable and sad? It and doesn't. Uh, the, Can it be fun? Can comedy just be fun? I don't I'm not get miserable. Why. Ask anyone in the business who has more fun than me on and off stage. Like, I used to be told, Gino's always on. No, I'm always like this. I really do enjoy it, okay? But comedy has to be something that you can't not not do. Do you understand? Yeah. That's, and that's that will really inspire you. Don't get me wrong. I beat the shit out of that scrawny little.
do what you have to do to keep yeah. ja jacking up influencers. But remember, the fucking genuine goal is not the clapter. And I'm trying to teach you this because young kids think like, oh, they clap. He's not yeah. listening to oh, what you're saying. Yeah. yeah, they clap because you checked a lot of boxes. No, make people laugh from the gut whether they want to or not. But aside from that, yeah, I'm willing to say, all right, fuck the Andrew Schultz thing because you said it. You're like, I don't need, like, I'm so set in my ways. It's like, yeah, you, you, you need exposure at that age. Not if you have 900,000, or excuse me, If 93. I had 900,000 followers, I would not wait to get good at comedy. Yeah. I'd just go out and start selling out rooms. <laughs> Watch yeah, that this. feels hacked. That feels like cheating. Watch. Yeah. Pretend I'm here. You guys are 900,000 people. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, okay. Knock, be, knock. Who's there? Your money I just took. This guy's really good. This <laughs> guy. Woo! Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Hey, we got a Skype coming in for Sneeko. Hang on one second. Please hold. Oh. oh it's, it's one of these Skypes. Enjoy. Oh, Frankie, there you go. Why do I'm going to make that? a fucking Don't mess of you, Sneaks. Oh, there you go, there you go. I'm going to fucking clean my abs up with your face, buddy boy. Okay. <laughs> he just goes, oh, okay. That's annoying. Fill me up, Sneaks. <laughs> no. Fill me up. Are you challenging him to a Come fight? Come on, Sneako. On? Give me that hot fucking wet load. It happens a lot. Fill me up. I'll a pay lot. you 10 G's. If you Fill had, me the fuck up. A lot of the oh, guests. A lot of the Nico, guests. I need my protein, baby. A lot of the guests type in just to uh, say, fill Nico. me up. It's weird. Hey, here. <laughs> hey, here. Yeah. Hey, here. Now, hey, here. Now, let me ask. What's his name again? Kelly. Hey, Kelly, let me ask you something. Nice name, name bitch. They call yeah. me yeah. Kelly. Yeah, K-E-L. Kelly, let me ask you something. Uh, Machine bum Kelly. Am I Nice. Am I wrong to say the only reason you're challenging this kid to a fight, and he is going to quote, to quote Aaron Berg, make a mess of you, uh, because you want to you wanna grab some of his extra 300,000? I'm 200, clown chasing, bitches. Okay. I'm going to fucking put my nuts on Sneeko's mouth. No, excuse me, Kelly. I'm going to ask uh, th th your Sneeko, phone. before we fight, you want to go in the steam room and... Spread me open. <laughs> How is that a free game? Come on, sneaky. Doesn't that sneak on in my shit locker? It just seems like this isn't. Fill me up, sneaks. Fill no, me up, okay. sneaks. By the way, I'm totally on your side. I'm gonna now. wear some sneakers if you know what I mean. No, it means Put my dick have... in Sneeko's ass. Yeah, that's just gay sex reference. Sneaking up on him. Now, <laughs> now what are his videos? Like? I want to they... see if he's more black or Asian, if you know what I mean. I don't know what you mean. His dick size. Okay. So my question is this. What are his videos like? I'm sure they're not all like this. Mine. A lot of them I do abs. Other ones I rub cum on myself. Okay. What's your favorite workout at the gym? Uh, mouth and neck. Mouth and neck. Okay, there you go. Just <laughs> checking. That's a good workout there. Look, you go. I got to go. You got another Skype coming in. I don't want to make sneak up feel weird. But at the weigh-in, I hope you weigh yourself by putting your dick in my mouth. That just, again, that sounds like you're uh, hitting on him. It just sounds like What do you mean? I just think he's very hot. Okay. Hey, Sneaks, real quick. Want to come over and uh, play a game called Make a Pink Sock? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I got to go, man. Uh, happy Gay Pride Day. Okay, there you go. Click. Gay. Um, should I take the call or should we take the Skype? Take the Skype. All right, go on to Skype. Uh, now, you're a bit of a YouTube sensation, but how many, how many followers does this guy have? 263. Ugh, well, hopefully he can, uh, Frankie McDonald, everyone. Yeah, come on, 65,000 subscribers world, right now. Right? What's that? Get, I'm getting a Moderna COVID-19 vaccine on May 25th. Congrats! Now, yeah, that's nice. Uh, we're not big on the vaccine. Yeah, yeah. Not, yeah. not a fan. Yeah. Like, uh... Do you, we like, but you need, the, well, Frankie, yeah, it's, you can't get autism twice. So, Frankie, when you, <laughs> what? When you get the shot, like, uh, which one are you getting? Moderna. Moderna. Now, you're a young man. What are you, 30? Oh, you, he just turned 37, right? Yes. God, I got it right. Damn How much it. do you weigh? Oh, 240 pounds. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, why? That's, yeah, he probably. He's got 240 pre-existing yeah. conditions. All right. Yeah, so, but that's good, right? And then once you do that, but are you uh, are you excited? Because once you do that, you won't have to wear a mask, Frankie. Then I have to get my second dose sometime in the summer, until or September 7th. September 7th. So you're gonna wait yeah, how I many months to get a second dose? No, just go get the J and J vaccine. Just get COVID. Yeah. What's for lunch today, Frankie? Chicken strips and chicken wings. They, they nice. just eat, all they do is uh, like you're in love. Berg must be impressed having you on. Frankie, no what do your hands smell like show. when you eat the chicken strips and chicken wings? It smells like chicken. Okay. Good, good. It smells like chicken. Just checking. That's what I say when I walk into a Hey, strip do you know Sneeko? He's an influencer. He's got nine followers. Million. Nine nine I never million. heard of me. There's no way he heard of me. Why? I know him. I don't know why I know his face. He's, He's pretty popular. He does the weather. You ever uh, hey, Frankie, tell Sneeko what the weather is going to be. And where do you live, Sneeko? Brooklyn? Yeah. In Brooklyn today. 
Right now, it's going to be cooler than warm temperatures. It's going to fight back and cool air and warm air. Plus, they got a snowstorm in Churchill, Manitoba tomorrow. Then it got really cold air with snow on Thursday night and the Friday in Regina, Saskatchewan. So you're saying if I were to go outside, I should wear shorts and a blazer? In New York City. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Frankie. Shorts and a blazer. All righty, Fra Frankie, have you ever heard of uh, Sneeko? And it's going to be really, really hot on Wednesday, Thursday, New York City, 30 on Friday. Sometimes he'll surprise you. Sometimes. Okay. Uh, any tips for him to get extra followers? How did yeah, you... I want to get to a million. How, do I... How should I get to a million subscribers? You have to subscribe and get the word out there. Okay. So now, Frankie, do you have a new video that we could show Sneeko to show him what you do? It's like the guy dancing in Raining Apples. Raining Apples. Oh, I like these apples. Okay, guys, okay. let's uncle. do some dancing. Hold Let's on, show Dave, we'll my moves. <laughs> hey. <laughs> kind of TikTok-y. <laughs> You're not intimidating this kid. <laughs> he calls in all the time? <laughs> most, people's, most people don't turn on the show till the last 10 minutes, I'm guessing, at this Sounds point. Sounds like dark clouds are coming. Starting to thunder and lightning out. Oh my god, it's raining apples! Do it. Do it. Three more apples! <laughs> what a creative dust, kiddo. Yeah, I gotta get off. Here, here you go. Here, here, here. Just write it all down. Take the notes, kiddo. There you go. There you go. Three more apples never before. I was Come here, Mike. Alright. Three more apples. More apples come and follow for a Stop rain apples, stop, stop. A lot of apples, Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> I was wrong about it. I'm sorry. I told you you'd like them. Apples <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Look at the apples coming from the sky. Apples finally stop. I better shovel all the apples. He's going to shovel the apples. There you go. Hey, how do you like them apples, sure. Frankie? <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> Frankie? I can't do that Thanks with Frankie. Thanks for watching on Frankie McDonald. Whatever you're going to do, don't. All right, thank you, Frankie. Real quick, uh, so look at the time flying. Yeah, there hey, you go. Travis and Michelle, I'm going to laugh. <laughs> hey, Frankie. <laughs> Frankie, who do you think is better looking, uh, Sneeko or Curvy Mary? <laughs> Curvy Mary. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Frankie. <laughs> this chick. You haven't seen you. Curvy Mary yet, Sneeko. By the way. She's very attractive. Who would you rather, watch this, who would you rather we add on next, Curvy Mary or Sneeko? Curvy Mary. Yeah, okay, fuck you, you yeah, Frankie. <laughs> I thought I liked you. <laughs> you got to see that clip. All right, real fast, Dave, you're in hot water. You, well, you want to argue with Sneeko? Yes, thanks. I, I just wanted to ask one question and one statement. Uh, one, do those uh, followers all pay you? And two, when you got no punchlines, no callbacks, and no payoffs, you got no comedy. Okay. Yeah, no one disagrees with that. What's your question? Oh, he hung up. I, I, okay, so yeah, but that's why you want to do it. Uh, he just hung up. He was a smash and grab, yeah. whatever. But by the way, uh, speaking of which, you have a Patreon account. Yeah. So that's what we should be plugging. Now, how's that? How many do you have on there? I have like 1,600 followers on there. That's not bad, followers. dude. Now, what is, what is the content on there? Just your YouTube stuff? I have a podcast on there. I you feel do. like everybody has a podcast, so I just wanted to keep it, you know. Just keep having fun with it, dude. Yeah. That's all you can do. And keep arguing with crazy old men that are alcoholics. Uh, Anything else? Uh, yeah, I wanted to talk to that guy more. He seemed like he didn't like me. It's just too bad. Yeah, but he just he, does. he just likes Curvy Mary because she's a porn. No, I no, think the guy who just called in. The guy Dave. I think Dave was trying to say when you have no setup. Yeah, you don't. Trying to say I'm not funny and then. Yeah, you just have to. People. You have to get the reps in. And like, in a way, this is what I've always said. Uh, guys like me and this old dude, uh, like, you know, we're straight white dudes, so we had to be funny. Like, you know. Speak it, for yourself. <laughs> sorry, gorgeous. But, like, these young kids today that are all multiracial and good looking and we zero We get applause body just for, yeah. Yeah, and don't get me wrong, but. We like, can talk about trauma for 45 you're minutes. You're ahead of the game because, you you know, you've said it. Oh, and one other thing I want to not disagree with you with, but, like, you said in the video, you're like, I did the easiest thing and said, let's hear it for the guy before me to get applause. Yeah. But, and I'm asking you this, too, Aaron. Like, I always would do that because 
because that's sure a I'd cheat on my wife. No, that's always a good reset. Like if if you go up before me and I have a great set, I'm gonna be like, let's hear it for Sneeko. Oh my God, there's Curvy Mary. That's what he likes better. If I say let's hear it for Sneeko, and you can do the like, it's like a reset. The crowd's like, all right, but that's your way of saying, all right, he's done. Now it's my time to shine. Oh, that was just my way to get cheap applause, like yeah. right away. Well, you, you you can call it that, and I'm not saying you're wrong, but it's also you know who told me this, so it might be Bob Levy's like, always thank the guy before you because it just lets them know like, look, that was the guy, but now it's my time. You know what I mean? But there's no either. Way. Hey, uh, yeah. There you go. So there you go, Frankie. Who's that, Frankie? Curvy Mary. Curvy Mary. And what's the name of watch this? What's the name of the guy uh, that's on the show with me right now? That's the uh, professional boxer. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Anything else, Hollywood Aaron? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, just so you know, uh, since I do have two projects in development, I won't be doing the show anymore. This is going to be your new co-host. It's Sneeko. Thanks for having me. Austin was amazing. We will announce more dates, but right now we'll be at the Pat Garrett Amphitheater, June 18th. Check it out. Wait, what's that? Pat Garrett Amphitheater. Shout out Alex Jones. So let's say... Pat Garrett. No, no. The, the, the theater is the Pat Would Garrett... Would you want me to pull up? No, Pat, Pat Garrett... Pat Garrett Amphitheater. What's that? We'll be... <laughs> June 18th, Pat Garrett Amphitheater. Huh? Yeah. Love you guys. I want to thank Sneeko. Fucking nicely done, young man. Fucking, he's killing it.